rise above the crowd, rise above the crowd, rise above the crowd, rise above the crowd, and step out of the choking monotony of ordinary existence. Step out of the choking monotony of ordinary existence into a finer, more colorful light of achievement and ever new peace and open your eyes. See who you And feel love power, love power, love power, love power, love power, love power. Who just come on, Christine? Woo! Feeling the love power. Open your heart and feel love power. Who? Calling you, calling me, calling everyone. You know, Lord Krishna, the Bhagavad Gita said there's one, one, one shining rule, and that is to rise above the duality, right? Rise above the crowd. That's one shining rule, says Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, that we need to rise above whatever feelings we have, Whatever thoughts we have right now, whatever the world is doing, everything that we see out there, so to speak, we need to have a, a little love lift. You know, people get face lifts, how about a heart lift? Oh Lord, please, I need a heart lift. Let's go to the, the heart doctor, man, and I'll ask for a heart lift, right? So we can rise above the crowd, so we can rise above the duality. Hello, George. And Guy, welcome, always welcome. You know, we're just taking a little check into the heart right now. Just that time where we, we just pull, pull back, pull back from ourselves a little bit, kind of just back off the seriousness, you know, back off the, whoo, the motions that whatever ones are running the show right now or today, and the thoughts that then accompany whatever is that emotion, you know. It's not so the other way. It might seem that way, but the emotions is what triggers the thoughts, and the thoughts then just feed into the emotion, you know. And then it seems like it doesn't matter who comes first. <laughs> We're kind of in this little loop-de-loop. -loop. Here we go, loop-de-loop. -loop. Here we go, loop de la, right? So we're pulling back a little bit like that. Because, you know, if not now, when? And it's so important, a moment. Amanda, hello. I left you a, I left you a heart message. Well, actually, I leave you a heart messages all the time. And that goes really for, for everyone, because what is love but universal, right? It includes everyone. Yogananda said, love and I drew a circle and it included the whole world. How's that? Of course, I think he might have been talking about the worlds upon worlds upon worlds upon worlds, you know? Because what is the difference to love? It's everywhere. It's omnipresent. It's even beyond anything that's ever been created. <laughs> and it's just, it's just, it's just in that perfect cosmic stillness in the bliss, right? Hello, Joyce. Welcome. So happy that you've joined. You know, we have a nice little blend now. Usually we have, uh, well, we got three guys and, and three divine masculines and three divine feminines. Ooh, we are a perfect balance, aren't we? Of the yin and the yang. Ooh, centered in the heart. Ooh, right here. You know, balance, wisdom, balance, tenderness, and love. Hello. Charity, oh my goodness, I love this. Well, love loves you. How's that? You love love. We love love. It's all about love. You know, it's it just sounds like we say the same thing over and over again. But you know, love is 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 ever new. So you could say that word, you know, like love, love. 
And each time you're feeling something different and new and special about it. You know, I'm talking about the, the pure love, the love, of, the love of spirit, the love that is the only reality. You know, you can't say that word enough, enough with just deep, deep, deep desire. You know, heart's desire. I don't think many of us really understand the, the, the power of a true motive, you know? A true heart's desire, because people say, well, I'm not feeling the love, and, you know, and then you teach me a, a meditation, a way, yes, okay, you know, but you know, all source wants to know, all love wants to know right now, do you want it? Do you want love? And then, how bad? You know, that is meditation. <laughs> that is the key to heaven, darling. That is the key and it's in your hands. The key to heaven is in your hands. The key to heaven is in your The key to heaven is in your hands. The key to heaven is in your hands. Right? It's in here. It's how much we want love. You know, that's the burning desire thing. And I swear what it does is sends out the most powerful signal that a human can send to love itself and that is what brings the closeness of the union of love. Not how you meditate, not the technique, not this and not that. The beloved saying, excuse me, would you just fall into my arms and let me love you? And would you love me in return? I mean, it's love, right? I don't know why we make things so hard, right? And we need to take care of business right now. I mean, I was going to say today, but that's too long. Right now, if we let this moment slip by without wanting love more than anything else that's going on in our life, it's always going to go on in this human dimension, you know. And it's going to go on and it's going to be trying to pull you out of your heart just like that. And it, and it does pretty good at that, right? But we have to want to stay in the heart more than all those tugs, all the to-dos. Then do the to-dos, but don't leave your beloved heart, you know? You can still want love in your doing, kids. I don't know why we need to keep making excuses why, we do, why it's so hard, right? If you want something bad enough, you go after it. So all this is is about how much you suffer and have suffered in all your many lives and are suffering now. Do you need to suffer more to want love more? Most humans, they will go that way. Do you? Do you still have to have things blow up? When is when if, if a loved one dies, right? Is, is that going to have you want love more, right? I think it does, but they don't have to die for you to want it more, right? What do you need? Do you need to suffer as much as we do, right? Absent, absence of love is called suffering, dear. Yeah, so always right in these check-ins that we have is like, boom, right here, right now, kids. This is the moment. If we let this one slip by, the next one's going to be harder, right? If we let this day go by without a full-out assault into our heart to go to the one beloved who's waiting there, tomorrow's going to be so hard, uh, right? We don't realize the power of now, as Eckhart says. <laughs> The power of now. But it's not just the now. It's this unspeakable love that's with us now. Because if anything is in your heart that's disturbing it right now and today, something you're kind of putting off because it's so disturbing, you just don't want to deal with it, that needs to be addressed with the love force right now, not later. Don't take care of the things and put off the things that you really need to take care of. And the things that you need to take care of right away are things, things that are disturbing your heart, that you are afraid of, that you don't want to address because, well, why don't you want to? Because we don't have love as our, as our beloved to hold on to, to deal with whatever life brings to us. You see? So it all works together. We grab onto love and you are fearless. You know what I'm saying? You are fearless to address whatever needs to be addressed in your emotional body. Because that emotion is an energy in motion, kids. Emotion. Energy. Emotion. 
and it's going out there as the number one signal the universe is, is reading from you and is giving you back exactly in kind because it's a universe that just wants to support you and if you're giving something from your heart, whether it's disturbed or not, it's going to give you more of it. So we have to what take the locomotion of emotion and change it into devotion and that's the magic potion. Right? We have to take the locomotion of the energy motion, the emotion, change it into devotion, and that's the magic potion. So you don't worry about how that alchemy works. Hello, Catherine. Welcome. <laughs> don't mind me. It's just the love force that's within us and around us that's kind of got us riveted, right? Just riveted in this present moment of love, which is the whole point. See, but we don't have to worry. You don't have to go to all these all these workshops and read all these self-help books to realize that it's the power of your energy of wanting love bad enough that is the alchemy. It takes care of everything. Isn't that amazing? You can't go to some book and you really can't go to some teacher that's going to tell you how to want love more. They can't want it for you. You're also, you're surrounded by your guardian angel. You're surrounded by holy ones right now just pouring love into you. But does it make a difference? Huh? Does it? No. You have the key to heaven is in your hand. The key to heaven is in your, the key to heaven is in your hand. It's in your hands. You alone can want love more than anything else in the three worlds right now. And that includes over your problems right now, over your desire list, uh, over your to-do list. That doesn't mean you shirk them. It means that you do them with all the love in your heart. You see what I'm saying? Woo! This has been a big love check-in, hasn't it? That was what I call this love, love streaming. Because I just realized the importance, not just... I realize the importance to take care of business now. That's saying take care of business today. Have all of your affairs in order and the most important affair is your love affair with the divine. Have it in order, man. Have it top in the line of the order of priorities in your life. Numero uno, and it doesn't move from number one spot. It doesn't come down in the hit chart. It doesn't come down to two or three. No, this love affair with love is number one because it's the only thing. It is the one. It is the one. There's too much suffering in this world, kids, and there's too much suffering even in our so-called pretty decent lives, right? It's suffering. We don't even know how much we're suffering when we allow disturbances in the, in the love field, in the heart. I mean, one day you'll be so tuned to your heart. It's like a, a musician, right, that's so tuned to their instrument or her instrument, so tuned that the slightest little out of a tune is, ah, uh, or someone who has really those trained ears and just can hear pitch like crazy. It's like, ah. Uh. I used to have a choir director when I was in, a, in, in grade school and I was in a boys, boys Catholic school and boys choir and all that stuff. And, Boy, you couldn't miss a note. You couldn't even be partially off. And his ears went, he went, ah. He knew. And there was 20, 25 of us in that choir. And that guy knew it. You couldn't sing out of tune without him busting you. So listen, if this thing isn't totally in a love affair today, bar none, and that just could mean in your intention to want love, to want source, to want the truth more than anything you've ever wanted and as bad as you've ever wanted it right now. Explode. Choo! Right? Explode. Where are you going to hear this kind of love rap, baby? Only within your own heart. Only within yourself when you're unionized with that love and you'll be the best spiritual love rapper in the universe. You will, right? But now what are you rapping about, huh? What kind of stuff left your mouth today, baby? What are you, what are you devoted to, right? What was so important today? I'll tell you one thing, it ain't. No big deal. I don't care what happens, good, bad, or ugly.
<laughs> How can it be a big deal when there's love and light that you and I are and you can't hurt that? You can't break that. That doesn't have a bad day, baby. You can't have a ba bad day unless you choose and affirm that this is a bad day and anything else in your life. You know, if I were you, I'd get on the love boat where Shelly is on the love boat. She's saying, come on, you guys. I've been on this love boat. Where have you been? There's a raft. Grab that love raft. Jump on the love boat. Loving presence is all around us. Love and presence is all around us. Love and presence is our love boat. So jump right on. Let's sail away. Love and presence is our love boat. Molly! Molly! You just jumped on the love boat with us. Molly Brown! It's been like, seems like a forever, right? But not really because this moment of love that we're feeling, all of us together, pure love, Heart love, divine love, it makes all, makes up for everything, doesn't it? Woo hoo! The love boat! I know you just jumped, David! You just jumped on the love boat, brother! We're in the love boat! Jump on in! We're sailing to the divine shores of all complete, all fulfilling love, my man! You know, like Paradise Island? Right? You know, it's so easy to get caught up in the problemas, right? I mean, in this domain, in this duality. That's why I started by saying, Krishna says there's one shiny rule, rise above this duality into paradise, kids. But how many of us really hold the truth that we are paradisical, if that's a word, underneath that everything is the light and love, and we can be in paradise if we make love number one, numero uno, top priority in our life, because it will do all the work, it will take all the, all the stuff that needs to be, you know, released, and all the alchemy, it will do it just, you're wanting it, wanting it. It's so simple, there's no book, there's no teaching, there's no technique, there's just you wanting it. And the more you want divine love, the more your heart is going to awaken. The more that your karma and your samskaras are going to be wiped out. It's the whole science of yoga. You know what Yogananda said? There's a personal element in your search for love greater than mastery over the whole science of yoga. A personal element. It's what we're talking about. God doesn't care what what you're caring about right now. How hard the day's been or whatever. How busy you've been. It's just unspeakable love to have you feel that love right now. That's it. That's it. Oh, we can be so practical when we are in that union of love as our MO. More practical than practical more practical, more efficient, more in tune, more creative, more happy when we are in the love, not outside of it, racing around for what? Right? For more suffering? Not. So, you jumped on the love book. Thank you very much. And, uh, and we're just going to woo roll together, right? To the shores of happiness, right kids? And we have each other. Because I know there's a, a zillion things that, that are on our plate. But really, they are the universe's plate and the universe's things. You are a child of the infinite love, right? Remember that. There's nothing on your plate but more love, okay? There's nothing in your standing in your way of complete happiness today, right? There's nothing that is stopping you from really just absolutely turning your life in a whole nother direction, absolutely, or just more in tune with exactly the highest and the best for you and others. There's, there's really nothing that can ever stop us from being in love. All right, go get them, team. One, two, three, hi! All right. Well, and I think that was a good, that was a good little, uh, little, little uh, afternoon snack, wouldn't you? Thank you, Tom. I really, yeah, I know, because I really needed it today, Dana. I need it more than anyone, and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. The most needy for love are what you would call the great saints. 
They have no ability to do, be, say anything except to have love at the core of their existence in their heart this moment. Yeah, that's how close they get to love by just needing it. So however you're going to find that desperation for love, please use a little wisdom or go with the way you think you need to go. But you don't have to go the way of suffering as much as, 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 as the world is. You do not. If you choose to need love just for the mere fact that you do, it's going to come to you, baby, like that. And all of these things that seeming to weighing you down and have been, because it's a loop, I'm telling you, if this doesn't stick today, tomorrow's going to be hard, harder. If we don't make something happen today in our heart and deal with today's uppermost thing that's disturbing this heart, we have got to find peace in it. We have got to resolve this disturbance in our hearts today. It is not negotiable. So for me, for me to deal with that kind of stuff, I have to have love because I can't deal with it on my own. Only love can deal with it. Only love can deal with all this stuff going on in our life, man. That's why we need love. Because there is stuff going on. Alright? Are we in? Huh? Are we in the love boat? Let's see some hearts. If you're in the love boat, come on, do the heart thing. Do the heart thing. Unless you all, unless you all got offline. Maybe you all got, there we go. Come on, spark the heart, spark the heart, man. Love to our world. Love to you like crazy, you know. Love to yourself like crazy. Love to the loved ones in your life like crazy, man. And especially this one thing that is really difficult, the most difficult thing in your heart to feel love around today. That's the goal. That's the target, okay? Let's group up on that. Let's all gang up on those things that are those issues, right? Let's all unite our love. This is why we need to be on the same love boat. We need to be a bigger, a bigger we, a bigger love to deal with some of these things that have gotten blown out of proportion and seem way big now, right? I'm totally in. XXO, let the love light shine, baby. You better believe it. Hello, Alejandro. Alejandro, you just breathe in all this love because these amazing beings came on this love channel, this love uh, Facebook love streaming live this afternoon, and they have been all open heart. They have been so open. They have, whoo, I bet you, I because I know I have it just re reignited. You know, I just we just had a renewal of vow, haven't we, everybody? Huh? The love got us right between the eye, right here at the spiritual eye, and just grabbed our heart and said, Darling, I am not going to go away. Now, please, please, you're not going to leave my, my everlasting hug. All right? And we said, yes. All right. Love you.